So anyway, where we're running uh, this car around is uh, wood pellets. All right. That's uh, what we're running this on. They take your organic material, be it wood pellets or grass pellets, and uh, put it in here. Let me take a quick look here. This is a working model, right? Yep. Sweet. Right okay, that's alright. Uh, this car here is actually the world record holder. We took it to Utah last month and uh -huh. set the land speed record for wood powered cars. So we hold the official really? record. Really? How fast? Uh, was you it? have to go to our website to check that out. I'll, I'll go. Let your listeners know. It's 47 and some change. Nice, man. So it will go faster. We just got to make some modifications. We actually built the car in two weekends. Nice. And we didn't have time to modify anything before it had to be on the trailer. <laughs> get out to the soft land. So, okay. we put the organic material in here. Typically, you'd run the top off. All right. Um, it goes rain and you can put a spring on there or whatever. Um, when it's a cold start, we use this uh, shop vac down in there. It's hooked to the battery. We turn okay. that on. All right. And that creates air movement. Gotcha. Here. So, everything runs on a negative pressure all the time. So let's right. say you poke a hole on it. It's not going to leak gas. It's just going to suck air in. Gotcha. So From port, the vacuum of the engine exactly, as well? Okay. Or the startup blower. That's, we use that for startup. Um, we'll take this off here. Once you take it off, there's suction in there. We light a match. It sucks in there. There's already charcoal from the last time it was lit. Gotcha. And that uh, instantly starts up. The charcoal starts getting red hot. In about 30 seconds, it gets to 2400 degrees inside here. However, it's super insulated, so outside it stays cool. All right. 2400 degrees in there. Within a minute, the shop bag is actually blowing out here and you can light this it's called a startup flare you light this and it'll put gas out about uh, <laughs> two feet uh, okay the trunk hinge on there so we can lift this up if we want look at that or put it down for driving so it's kind of a all right an aftermarket feature that's fun um once that happens you can shut the uh shop back off and you okay. can start the car all now right the process is working is once this gets to 2400 degrees it's used up all the oxygen to create that heat, all right. and it's burned the volatiles off of the organic material. And once the heat gets 2,400 degrees and you have organic material, it starts a chemical process known as pyrolization. Pyrolization? Pyrolization. Pyrolization. It okay. decomposes organic material really quickly into its basic building components like hydrogen, carbon. Hydrocarbons. <laughs> okay. Comes out of this pipe down here at the bottom at about 400 degrees. All right. This is a cooling chamber, which is an empty uh, vessel. It comes out of the top of here along this pipe. By the time it gets over here, it's about 250 degrees, and there's a bag filter in here that's good for 400 degrees. It takes all the particulates out of okay. the gas. If there's any ash in there, it gets taken out here. Once it comes out of here, it comes out the bottom of this, up this pipe, and into this inner cooler, better gotcha. known as an after cooler. Gotcha. Goes the other side of that, loops around, comes back up this one. By the time it hits here, it's air temperature, so all the water condenses out. Okay. Again, so that comes down this little black pipe here. So you've got a condensate drain. Yep. All right. And it goes down into a container down there. It's all under the same pressure, so it'll flow right down through there. Okay. Once it comes out of here, it goes into one more filter in case there's uh, any other water. What kind of filter is that? This is, this is actually an air filter out of an okay. Isuzu Trooper. Like a pleated filter. So it's just filter. a regular gotcha. pleated filter. goes through this pipe and then through what we call the anaconda. And in the form where it's traveling through this, it's, it's all gas. It's vaporized Vapor, gas. okay. Because it's vaporized gas, you don't need a fuel injector because that takes liquid fuel and turns right. it into vapor. So you eliminate that. You don't need a Atomizes carburetor it. per such because they use a ventrally... Um, system so it basically gets to the motor in a vaporized form already so basically all you need to do is mix air with it at some point along is there a certain system. ratio of mix it's that about you have 50 to, how do you so monitor that once it gets about here we have an air mixing valve okay. that's a spring loaded flat valve so as the motor needs more draw it'll open the valve up and let the 50 percent of oxygen in okay so at this point it becomes flammable runs up underneath the original air cleaner. Flammable because it's mixed now with yes, air? Yes, it's mixed with gotcha. air now. And then it runs through the, into the throttle body and right into the supercharged motor that nice. has no modifications at, at all. all. At all. Really? Yep. So, uh, so is it like gasification? Is that, yes. that's gasification. what it is? Gasification. Yep. Okay. You just taught me and something. And that is uh, really how cool. we do it at Beaver Energy. Beaver Energy. That is fun, man. Woohoo! The last thing I thought I would see here is a wood pellet fueled gasification powered car. Nice.